Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. So today I have a very, very exciting video for you guys because today I received a very cool parcel in the post. And I'm gonna be opening it up for you guys in today's video. That's right, I'm pretty much now an unboxing channel. <laughs> Throughout this lockdown, I've been trying out all kinds of videos. I've been a car reviewer, I've been a live streamer, and now I'm, <laughs> I'm an unboxer. But no, within this parcel, I believe it is my brand new camera. Now, for those of you that have been watching this channel for quite a while, you may know that the main camera I use when I go out and vlog theme parks and stuff is is this a Canon G7X and I love it it's a fantastic camera that's done me incredibly well but as I said today I received this very exciting parcel with my brand new camera in so yeah I'm gonna be unboxing it then I'm gonna be taking the camera out and about to Monk's Walk the Fort Park Resort to uh, test it out and give a little comparison between the old camera and this new one. Then I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the awesome features that are packed into this new camera that will help when I'm out filming theme parks and stuff. So yeah, let's get opening up this very exciting parcel. So then, here we are guys. As I said, this is the current camera, the Canon G7X. Over the years, it's gotten very battered, like the lens cap doesn't fully open. A lot of the housing is like hanging off at this point but it has done me incredibly well. But this is the new bad boy. As I said, we're gonna dig into the box right now. I really hope that this is actually the camera because I genuinely haven't unboxed it. It's still like properly taped up. I think we're all good guys because there it is. There is the Sony logo and that's right. I have left Canon for the first time. I've been very dedicated to Canon. This camera that you're watching on right now is a Canon and obviously this is a Canon, but I've made the jump over to Sony and here she is. It is the Sony ZV-1. It is a purpose-built vlogging camera. So let's dig into the box. Cowboy, I'm so excited. I've been waiting a while for this to arrive and it's finally here. Got all of the classic instructions and stuff. Have I opened this upside down? I don't think I have. Here she is, guys, the brand new camera. Oh yes, oh she looks very clean doesn't it? I mean looking at the size comparison they're pretty much exactly the same which is great for me because I like being able to put it in my pocket just be able to get it out whenever something cool happens or I want to talk to you guys. This one actually has a side screen so that's cool. Um, but yeah, there are loads and loads of features in this that I'll get onto in a little bit. What else have we got in here? We've just got the, uh, the USB kind of cable thing. And this actually comes with the dead cat microphone, which I had to buy my own of for this camera. And I've gone through a lot of these. It basically helps with the audio, especially when you're in like windy places and naturally theme parks are often always outdoors so that really helped with the audio quality but this camera actually comes with its own kind of purpose-built one so that's awesome stuff but audio quality I've heard is amazing on this camera so that's a great thing and then we've got a little battery I have actually ordered a load of extra batteries for this camera and they arrived like a week ago so I've just been sat with like loads of batteries but not the actual camera but that is brilliant because obviously you don't want to run out of battery midway through a theme park vlog, do you? I think I'm going to get this camera set up and I'm going to take both of these bad boys um, on my way to Monk's Walk so you can see a little comparison and then I'll come back and kind of show you the individual features of my brand new camera, the Sony ZV-1. Oh yes! Well hey, hello guys. So as you can probably see, I'm now out and about, out of the house and myself and Kieran just behind me over there are down Monk's Walk because we're currently filming a very exciting construction update which will be out within the next few days. But I have now got both my old camera, the G7X over here and my new camera, the Sony ZV-1 over here. So you guys can have a little comparison of the quality of both of these cameras. Um, lighting conditions wise, it's pretty good, but the light is now obviously behind me. So how does that kind of compare? In terms of the audio, you're currently listening to the audio from the Sony. However, right now, we're gonna switch over to the G7X. I don't even know what the audio difference is yet. I've heard the Sony is supposed to be a lot better, but uh, we'll switch back over to the Sony now. But I guess I'll, I'll find out 
in their in their edit software. But yeah, this is the comparison. Just from looking at the screens, I'm surprised at how much wider the Sony looks. Like I didn't realize the G7X was this cropped in, but yeah, I'm very happy. And uh, obviously, a big big thing about these two cameras is the autofocus, which I feel like is a lot stronger on the Sony. For example, if we turn the cameras around to Kieran, there we go. I feel like the Sony is just doing a lot better at uh, focusing. And then if we go to a tree, and then down to this. It's yeah. quite dark tree there. It is mind. dark, yeah. But I know in terms of like people, I believe the Sony is a lot better because it's got like eye tracking and stuff. Because I can see on the screen, the Sony is literally tracking wherever my eye goes. Whereas the G7X is kind of tracking my whole face. But yeah, I'm excited to head back and kind of look at both of these. And obviously I'm excited to end off our construction update, which as I said, will be coming out very, very soon. So get excited for that. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'm going to head back and show you the rest of the cool features that are in the Sony ZV-1. Yo guys, so we are now back at my flat. I hope you enjoyed that little comparison there. I've since put both of those pieces of footage into Adobe Premiere Pro and I've kind of um, assessed it and I, I'm, I'm definitely very happy with the Sony ZV-1. There are a few settings that since filming that I've now changed and I think it will look even better next time I go out and film a vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you some of the sick features that are on this camera. One of them is actually active now and you might be thinking, Jack, since when did your skin get so clear? <laughs> I have to say, this one's a bit creepy. I don't think I like it at all, but this is called the soft skin feature and uh, yeah you can probably tell that it's kind of making me into a bit of a Barbie doll in my opinion like my skin's really clear this is on the highest version of that so it's kind of maxing it out um, if I was to ever use it I'd definitely use it on like the lowest setting because as I said it's a bit creepy when I use it um, but yeah I, I can't see myself ever really using this to be honest I'll have it as off but it's a cool feature I'm gonna turn it off now in fact because I don't like it <laughs> There we go, it's off now. My skin looks a bit more normal now. Um, but yeah, some of the other effects that come with this camera includes this one, in which if I click this button, you will hopefully see the background ever so slightly um, blur a little bit more. It gives like a cinematic effect. For those of you that use iPhone, you'll know on the camera they've got like portrait mode. It's basically like that, but for video obviously. So as you can see the background right there, and then if I click it, it just come, comes into focus a little bit more. It's not that noticeable in here because the background is quite close to me and um, it's quite dark in here. But if you're in like a brighter outdoor situation, just by clicking this button, you can kind of blur everything and it just, just looks a bit more appealing. And this mode is a special feature on the camera called product showcase mode. Okay, there we go. So I'll put a bit of distance between me and the camera. And if I hold this mug up, as you can see, it will literally snap straight onto it. So it's kind of more of a feature for like beauty YouTubers and stuff. But obviously, I don't know, if you like to film merch videos and stuff, then this is the mode for you. I can't really see myself ever using it that much to be honest but I guess it's there and it just shows how sick the autofocus can be. I've also now enabled steady shot which wasn't actually on earlier or during the construction update um, so now hopefully everything's a little bit smoother when I move around and stuff. It has cropped in a little bit more but I think it still looks alright. Um, and yeah, that is kind of everything about my brand new camera, the Sony ZV-1. I don't normally use a Gorillapod at all, but I thought just whilst I'm in my room showing you guys the features, I would. But yeah, this is the camera that I will be filming all of my vlogs on from now on. And yeah, the kind of whole point of this video was to talk about this new camera and kind of tell you guys the features, especially if you are looking into getting into theme park vlogging. However, saying all of this, my biggest tip of all, if you are looking to get into filming vlogs or theme park vlogs specifically, is to not necessarily go for this, one of the best cameras out there, is to just use whatever camera you can get your hands on. Literally the ideas and kind of way that you create the videos is so much more important than the camera itself. So even if you can't afford a really high quality camera or if you don't want to invest in one yet, then absolutely don't, I wouldn't recommend it. Literally start off with whatever you can. Like literally film all of your vlogs on your phone at least for a first year or so until you are 
regularly uploading and enjoying it because it'll be a massive waste to spend all that money on a big new camera to then realize you don't actually enjoy it that much and you don't want to carry on. So yeah, I started off on literally a really small little vlogging camera, then I invested in G7X and now I've invested even more into this. But I know that it's gonna be a good investment because I'm hopefully gonna make the money back and I know I, I love this and I want to carry on doing it for the future. So yeah, my biggest tip in this video is if you want to get into vlogging, just use whatever you can get your hands on until you feel comfortable to invest in a better thing. And yeah, thank you all very much for watching this slightly different video on the channel. As I said, I'm trying out loads of different videos during this lockdown period, so I do hope you all enjoyed it. And yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. The theme parks are opening very soon, so I'll be back at the parks vlogging with this camera. I'm so excited. And yeah, thank you all very much for watching. My name is Jack Silk, so goodbye. Dripped out, now I'm vibing Link with the boys, jump straight to the island Silkstone flex on a wave like tidal Style so crazy, I hit it in a silence <laughs>